Hey everyone, this is gonna be a little different than before, but if you're interested in the topic of the early church versus the church today in modern America, and the issue of women preaching, one side or the other of the, uh, of the argument there, or about them having leadership roles in the church or being pastors, this is gonna be very interesting for you. I'm gonna bring up some concepts, try to do this briefly here because I'm gonna expand upon it on a different video where I'm at the computer, showing the Bible verses that go along with this, so we can look at what was the early church like? Do we look anything like the early church in today's typical church? Think about the church that you think is one of the best examples. All people are flawed. All churches are flawed. I'm not asking about a perfect church. There is none. But out of the churches that you believe best do the work of the Lord today would be a, a church you'd be willing to attend. Maybe it's the church you do attend. I hope so. Does that church look anything like the early church? I would say, obviously it does not. Because the laws of ancient Rome were quite different than the laws we have today. And so a church exists today because of the current culture. We have to incorporate as a nonprofit in whatever state we operate a church. Some even go further to become a 501c3. I'm not for that, but I'm not necessarily here to talk about that. They have a very corporate structure uh, looks more like a business today than what the early church looked like. The early church met in houses. And you can make the reasons you in the New Testament, why did they do that? And you would make some very valid points about why it's not necessary today. But that's what was in Scripture, you see? And if you see where I'm going with this, Scripture did not include nonprofit organizations where you would tithe and get a tax deduction. That's not what the early church was about. But God can fulfill his purposes through the church today, just as much as he could back then. He's not limited by the current times and the laws of our land. And so because of that, we adapt as a people who are following Jesus Christ, and we do the best we can, and we have the churches we have today. And they don't look anything like the church before. So why would we read 1 Corinthians 14 verses 34 and 35 about women remaining silent in the churches and 1 Timothy 2 verses 11 and 12 that they do not teach or exercise authority over a man. In other words, they can't have leadership in the church. Even looking at 1 Timothy 3 and Titus 1, which both are pretty much identical about the role or the qualifications of a man who is an elder or a deacon in the church. Why would we follow that to a T if the laws today and the culture today does not look anything like the culture the early church was under. And therefore, because of that, our churches don't look anything like it. I have to do a quick edit and add this in because I, I just have this funny feeling people are going to put words in my mouth if I don't clarify this. I'm talking about the scripture related to the structure of the church from the early church compared to the structure we see today. I'm not talking about the culture changing and therefore accepting sin in our culture where the Bible clearly tells us what is sin. Let me remind people, the Bible in no place tells us that a woman preaching the gospel or being in a leadership role is a sin. Nowhere will you read that. It's not there, right? So the liberal churches today that are accepting sin as normal and don't want to call out sin for what it is, that is not what I'm talking about. It. I am totally against those liberal churches. Uh, I'm a conservative myself and not only uh, politically, but definitely my biblical fundamental uh, view of the Bible too. All right, just want to clarify that back to the video. How much of the church is according to the legalistic Pharisee-like preachers today that say, oh, look at those Bible verses. Look at the inspired word of God through Paul. Women can't be leaders in the church today. We must follow that. But they don't seem to follow anything else the apostles said about the early church and what they look like and how they are run. Now they say, well, because the times are different. This is the way you set up a church in America today. It doesn't look anything like the early church, and that's fine. Ooh, that seems like a double standard to me. What do you think about this? I want to leave it there because I said I want to keep this video short. Think about what I said, and I'm not saying that we don't listen and clearly understand the Word of God. But I'm telling you here and, here and now, as I've said before this channel, when Paul wrote those inspired words of God in 1 Corinthians 14 and 1 Timothy 2, they directly contradict the teachings of Jesus Christ if you apply them as a universal forever for the church age doctrine. And that's where these people are in error. There's nothing that was 
not inspired about what Paul wrote. It was clearly inspired, and I believe those words. And they were written for people 2,000 years ago who were living under ancient Rome and the tyranny and the persecution of Rome against Christians. We don't live in that kind of tyranny yet in America. We may one day, and churches in that day will look drastically different than they do today, won't they? We'll even see the, the resurgence of house churches and underground churches and people meeting, you know, where it's not known by the public and it's secret, but they do because we're commanded to and we want to worship and praise our Lord no matter what struggles and trials we go through in the age and the time we're living. So with that, we need more voices preaching the Word of God, not less. Let's not listen to these legalistic, Pharisee-like uh, uh, preachers who don't have the slightest clue how to interpret Scripture and understand it for what God's doing in the world today through His people, us the born-again Christians, who are following Jesus Christ and doing it properly and not squelching the voice going forward to save souls by preaching. And I will remind people that I did a video, it's very popular, about con contrasting Charles Stanley with Dr. Charles Stanley with Dr. John MacArthur on this issue and how they're different on the women preaching issue. And most of the comments on the channel, because a lot of people who love John MacArthur saw it, have literally just left hideously ridiculous comments supporting John MacArthur's view on it. And they show their clear con a contradiction on this matter over and over again, how they only are, they're only concerned about the legalistic uh, application of certain aspects of Scripture. Other aspects of Scripture that tell us how to do church today, totally gone. Totally, don't, don't care about it and totally ignore it. And they, they you know, it's, it's amazing. Anyway, I'm going to follow up and give more on this topic. As I said, at the computer, going through some scripture. And we're going to really look into what the early church looked like and make that comparison to what we are today. And we're going to see how many times you can pull out scripture and say the whole church, all of us, are guilty of disobeying what the apostles showed us if you want to apply that legalistic approach. Thankfully, I don't, and I hope you don't. I pray that, and may the peace of Jesus Christ be with you now and forever. Amen. Bye-bye.